Hello, and welcome to another session of the eDocs training series. My name is Chris Gruber, and today I'll be showing you RM Server Part 1, Installation, part of our RM University series, in which we walk through the particulars of our records management software. In upcoming chapters, we'll learn how to set up a file plan, get familiar with everyday uses of RM, and complete the life cycle of a record. All of this in quick succession, perfect for those seeking an accelerated course of study. But in this first chapter, we're going to cover installation and initial configuration of RM. This tutorial is designed for eDocs administrators and records managers who are already familiar with the installation of eDocs server and its components. We won't be reviewing every full step of the install. Instead, we'll look at the RM specific portions of an eDocs installation. Let's take a look at what we're going to cover. First, we'll discuss installation of the RM server component. Next, we'll go over the RM admin tool, its installation, and some considerations that should be taken. And finally, we'll take a look at the installation of RM extensions, the client-side component. Ready? Excellent. Let's begin. The eDocs RM server is a component of the eDocs server installer that's chosen during the installation. In the installation wizard, you'll see a set of components underneath the main server node. Click the item labeled RM server and choose to install the component. After you click next, you're prompted to enter a serial number just like you were with the main eDocs server installation. Enter your serial number and password, then click Next. You'll be prompted to specify the installation directory. Once this is done, click Next. Then click all the way through to the end of the installation and click Finish. That's it. That's all that's necessary to have the RM server component in place. No need for further action. Before we proceed with the installation of the RM administration tool, we'll need to consider a specific situation when installing the admin tool, one related to whether or not you install it on a machine alongside eDocs extensions. When you set up extensions, it installs a copy of the eDocs extension API. The RM admin tool installer places its own copy of the extensions API in the same location, overwriting any existing API files. If this version doesn't match the version of the extensions API that was already on the machine, it can and will corrupt the extensions install. This will also happen if there is a version mismatch when installing the admin tool first. This is why if you intend to have both extensions and RM admin tool on the same machine, we recommend you install and patch these items in a staggered manner. For example, install extensions, then install RM admin tool, then patch extensions, and finally patch the admin tool. This issue has been outlined on the Open Text Knowledge Center in Knowledge Base Article 6134. 3767. Now let's proceed to the installation itself. To install the RM Admin Tool, first launch the item from the main installation menu or from the RM Admin Tool executable. In the Open Text eDocs RM Admin Tool Setup dialog, click Next. In the End User License Agreement dialog, select the I Accept the Terms in the License Agreement checkbox and click Next to continue. In the Choose Products for Licensing dialog, Enter the serial number and password for RM Admin, then click Next. In the Custom Setup dialog, we can choose to install any optional components. In this case, there's only one, RM Barcode Tools. In our demonstration, we won't be installing this as we're not going to be covering use of barcode related functions for the time being. Barcode functions are used for dealing with offline physical items. If you intend at some point to use barcode related functions, feel free to install this item. Click Next. In the Destination Folder dialog, click Next. In the Ready to Install dialog, click Install. The installation should proceed without issue. When it completes, click Finish, then Exit. And that's all there is to installing the admin tool. That's one less thing to worry about. When you first launch the RM administration tool, it will attempt to locate valid copies of the rm.ini and pcdocs.ini files. If it cannot locate these files, you should copy them into your local RM administration tool directory before you launch the admin tool for the first time. Now let's take a look at the installation of RM extensions. RM extensions allows eDocs extensions to include typical records management end user functionality. Since RM extensions is a subset of DM extensions, at a minimum, the Windows Explorer DM extension or Microsoft Outlook DM extension must be installed on the client workstation. From the eDocs extension setup, click through to the custom setup dialog where you can choose individual components to install. Choose to add RM extensions, then click Next. 
Enter the serial number and password for RM extensions, then click Next to continue. Keep clicking through until it's completed, just as you would otherwise with an eDocs installation. Click Finish to close the application. If this is the first time you've installed eDocs client software on this machine, you'll need to reboot it. Then you're done with the installation of all three components. This has been RM Server Part 1 Installation. For more information on this topic, please refer to the RM Administration documentation. We continue this series in our next chapter, RM Server Part 2 Administration, where we'll cover using the admin tool to create and configure a file plan. Visit our YouTube channel to keep up with all the videos in the eDocs training series. Did you like this video? Do you want to see more like it? Do you have ideas for other videos? Join the discussion on the eDocs DM forum in the Open Text Knowledge Center. Feel free to contact support if you need any further assistance. We'd be happy to help. And thank you for taking time to watch this video. We hope you found it useful and that you'll be back for more in the eDocs training series.